we have another open world game where you are tasked with choosing the gender and voice of your protagonist. In the New Saints Row, though, this is more fluid than maybe any game I've ever played before. You can have mask or female bodies with different genitalia, different sizes of that genitalia, and either mask or female voices. The great thing, too, is that if you don't like the direction that you're going, you can change this literally at any time just by going in your phone and pressing the style app. You can change anything. But here's an example of a more masculine looking body type with the default male voice versus a more female looking body type with the default quote unquote female voice to give you a, a little taste of which character you think will work best. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the idols, fuck Marshall. The saints are here to stay, baby. So, if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. So, if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. That's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Your you know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a 7. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. Okay, I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. Poof, I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? I uh, played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, well, my CEO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give him a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Eh, it's the murder business. Fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay, I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. Poof, <laughs> I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Eh, it's supposed to be. 
Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? I played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, well, my CO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Come on, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs>